Currently, at the moment, there seems to be a rehoming crisis. Rescue centres up and down the country are full and breeders keep breeding and rescue centres are the ones that are having to deal with the surplus animals and then people, the general public are continuing to buy from breeders so that's just encouraging the breeders to breed even more so that's led to um, waiting lists as well for animals to be brought into the rescue centres so people are having to wait months to bring their pets that they no longer want into the rescue centres. We think it's because of the cost of living crisis, so people can't afford vet fees, as well as the pandemic. A lot of people bought pandemic puppies and kittens, and then the novelty seems to have worn off since they've gone back to the office, and now they no longer want them. So we're the ones that are kind of picking up the pieces, and we're receiving the, the older dogs, and then they can sometimes end up being long stayers because everyone just wants young pets. Um, I've had many hanriers, many kittens, dumped kittens, things where um, for whatever reason someone's dumped them for, they've allowed the cats to breed for whatever reason. Um, and then maybe things have gone wrong or the mums have rejected the kittens, which quite often isn't thought of before now when a pet to breed, like it might not go wrong, they might not give birth well, um, they might not want to feed them, they might not want to be a mother. Um, so I've had many hanriers over the years uh, of kittens in particular, um, which some of them have been born quite poorly. We try and pick up the pieces as best we can, fix them and get them to a point where they are happy and healthy and able to be rehomed into loving homes and that ultimately as a fosterer and as someone that works that would sign any any rescue it's something that we all try and do on a daily basis and we take our work home with us constantly um, so yeah i wouldn't be doing anything else i mean i've had lots of fosters i've got lots of stores of different animals and a lot of them are all quite similar you know they've probably been um bred for a reason maybe to make profit or um, through just lack of knowledge and then for whatever reason rather than do the sort of thing that quite often they're dumped or just turned over or, or abandoned and it's just it's a very sad situation but we do our best to turn it around and get them new, new homes. So um, we do obviously struggle here at Woodside with regards to um, the amount of animals that we have coming through our doors. Unfortunately, we're not able to rehome all of them straight away just due to the general pressure of um, obviously there's more and more unwanted litters, there's bad breeding, there's people that take on these pets that then realise that they're going to cost them quite a lot of money because obviously they need things like BOAS surgery and stuff like that and people just can't afford it. So then they sign them over to us and unfortunately we, we just put under more and more pressure now that we're um, full to bursting point um, trying to find kennels, suitable kennels for these to find um, better permanent new homes really. We would um, like to obviously encourage people to get rescue animals from the centre rather than going out and buying. Um, it's always nice to have a young puppy but we do have puppies through the doors um, and it's always nice to come in and be able to rescue them rather than go to a breeder and pay a lot of money for one when um, we've got some really nice uh, animals here at the centre that you can be home. This is a money making exercise. We know that a lot of breeders will try to argue that they're doing it because they want to promote better genes within that breed. And then they're breeding unhealthy traits into the breed. So that's not making sense. It's not correlating. So this is a money making exercise, but we really wish that people more people would understand that breeders are breeding purely for profit. They're not concerned about the animal's welfare. Often it's a detriment to the animals. So dogs and cats are coming in with significant health issues and then new owners can't even afford the vet bills. Um, but they don't realise until it's too late and then they'll end up potentially signing their pets over to the rescue centres because 
they can't afford these vet fees because of the health issues that breeders have bred into these animals. I think what needs to change is there needs to be more legislation um, restricting breeders, restricting canine fertility clinics and it would be good if people could be more aware of the dangers that breeders are causing to animal welfare and they're causing issues within rescue centres because of all the surplus animals. Um, but we just want to promote, you know, sometimes getting an animal from a rescue centre is a much better option for people than buying from breeders.